especially offensively, we don't work. We know a pitcher's going to make mistakes, mm -hmm. and if they throw in, there's going to be a mistake middle, middle, in, on the plate. And that's the fear of it, and it comes from that aluminum bats, and it, and it really evolves that way. When you get in the minor leagues, these guys get bigger, stronger, and they start getting that fear factor in their heads. And remember, to be effective at throwing a good pitch inside, you don't have to throw 98 miles an hour. You don't have to throw 92 miles an hour. Remember Woody Williams? Yeah, sure. Woody Williams broke what, Mark? What was 88. He? 88, he 88, 88, around 87, 88. But he could saw off some bats. Yes. Why? Because I'm a firm believer, and Mark, I would love your input on this as well. I believe in order for a pitcher to be effective inside, he's got to learn how to locate and dot. And what do we talk about all season long? Location locating the fastball. If, if I'm a right-handed pitcher against a left-handed hitter, and I can dot eight out of ten times on that outside corner if it needs. Okay, now as a hitter, Mark's thinking, okay, i got to be aware of that outside corner. He can throw it there any time. I'm in trouble. And then all of a sudden, bam, bam. it changes the whole dynamic of an at-bat. I think the big thing, too, and it's, it's one thing that everyone talks about out there, it's not just velocity, that fear right. is a hitter. Greg Maddox is one of the toughest pitchers I've ever had to face because he can manipulate a ball on the inside part of the corner, and he could cut it in, he could throw it behind us and make it a strike. And that is rare, but it intimidated you because you had to think about that. Was he going to cut it in, or was he going to throw that right. ball at comebacker that was really on the plate you had to swing at? Let's talk about it further. We'll go ahead and get set up. Sure. Max, we're going to put you up here with Mr. Grant. He's going to teach you I want to make a point around home plate. Oh, okay. Out there. And, and this is... You know, we're always taught to throw to the glove, right? Mm -hmm. and, and my philosophy has always been this. When I'm on the mound and the catcher gives a sign and it gives the target, throw to the glove. Erase the plate because if you're a pitcher and you see your catcher on the inside corner, oh, I've got to get on the inside corner, right? Mm -hmm. I think that defeats the purpose of throwing a good strike. If I eliminate the plate, why not just imagine that that glove's right down the middle of the plate? Okay. Does that make sense? Sure. How many times do you hear people say, just play catch? Exactly. And, that, and that's what you really have to do. The fear factor that Mike talked about, about aluminum bats and coming up to against guys that are power hitters, that fear factor creeps in just right. playing catch. Guys, two things I'd always heard. Why am I throwing inside if the guy's got an aluminum bat and he can fist something out there anyway? And secondly, why are fewer balls called strikes, fewer pitches called strikes, it seems, Inside, They seem to feel like you can get more strikes called for you going away. So with those two deterrents, I can see why a young pitcher would be reluctant to go inside. You have to create that as a pitcher. And, you know, hitters understand this too. If they don't throw inside and establish that inside corner to the umpire, they're going to have a tough time calling it if they live out here so many times. If they're in here and they established it, they're going to get pitches called and they're going to earn it. And once again, if I'm planning on throwing a fastball in the inside corner, I would rather miss to the inside off the plate a little bit than on the inner third of the plate because the left-handed hitter can hurt me damage. by spinning on it. Some serious damage. Okay. So you got to trust yourself and throw to the glove. Just eliminate home plate. Throw to the glove. To me right now, that glove is right down the middle of the plate. You don't hey. see me. You're not focused on the plate or I'm the hitter. I'm just focusing on the right glove. there. And we all know Mike's not a hitter, but he's standing in. That's it. Exactly. So if you drop me, and you might. See, now that was ball. Ball one. That's actually a strike, but I was going to get hammered. All right. Ready? Nice. Now that's a good pitch. See, Mark right there. Sweetie might have gone big fly on you right, right there. Okay, one more. So, Mark, when you're hitting and you know the pitcher you're facing is not afraid to go inside, how does that affect your approach at the plate? Well, you know, you, you have to really concentrate on that. Yeah, one more. You have to concentrate on that. <laughs> I missed. Here, go back. You got a kick out of that one, little guy, didn't you? I was about to hit you. No, but, it, Mike, you, the, the point is, as a hitter, on, the, the big thing, too, and I'll grab this. The big thing as a hitter, and you see this at a young age, if you, you know a guy's coming in and it gets away from him because pitches do get away, mm -hmm. I love seeing the kids really coil their body and protect themselves. They have a helmet. They protect themselves. Yes, you're going to get hit, and there's times you can't get out of the way. Sure. But you'd like to see them go this way as opposed to getting this way. In the big leagues, you'll see guys, because their vision is very good, they'll jackknife, and they'll get out of the way. They know the, the ball's coming in, so they'll jackknife because they can't determine it that soon. But if you can, you want to coil back, and you want to just take it on this part of your back. If Drop you the bat or keep the bat where it is well, if you have time? It all depends on how much time you have, but from a hitter's standpoint, when you see it and you know it's coming in, not to fear it, because you know what? It's going to hurt, mm -hmm. but it doesn't kill you. You're going to live another day, but I don't like seeing kids really come in. You never want to expose your you face You don't want to expose this part of it. You really want to just...
turn in and do that as much as you can. Oh, that's great advice. But see, Max, Max, I love the fact that you are ready to go. Now, he's a righty, so work it in. Do you want me as a right-handed hitter guy? No, or he likes you as a lefty. You like me so as a Max, lefty? Mate? See, but Max work. wants, he just wants you standing in there. He wants to flip me, doesn't he? So remember, trust your stuff, ready? And you're throwing to the glove. Don't worry about the hitter. He's He's got plenty of time to get out of the way, right? If you miss inside... Don't worry about it. Your job is to get that ball inside the plate, maybe even see. a little bit more you know, side, <laughs> off the plate. Go right for it. Nice, Max. <laughs> He's got it down. Max, are you give him a good target even inside, Mark? Max, do you like to throw there inside? Do you like to throw inside at your age too? Do you? With that smile, how can you not? There you go. Yeah, yeah, look, look at that. that. See, point point control. You look yeah, at that it. Now you know what? Now you you control that pitch. Then you can go down and away later in the count, and he'll have no chance. Again. Mark, I was going to ask you about that. Does it open up? Go ahead, Max. You can keep going. Does it open up the strike zone that nice. dramatically when you can establish the inside? No question. Well, it makes him aware. And Mark Sweeney, I mean, he's been in that position as well. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's awesome. a beauty right there. So I've always thought, you know, if you can command that pitch on the inside part of the plate, it just opens so many doors. You can go. You can, you can double up inside. You can go hard away. You can go change up. I just really think it, it puts the hitter on the defensive. It really does. And if you have to establish that as a hitter, you don't want you don't want to look at the whole plate. And if you make it aware of them throwing inside, it makes it very difficult. You'll see some awkward swings just like that. The awkward swings means they're thinking about it, and they see it, and they have to react. It's a lot quicker movement. It's a shorter swing for the offensive guys, but they don't like it. Especially if they can't handle that ball. <laughs> That's some great advice, guys. And usually, when you see a guy spin on a fastball <laughs> that's in off the plate, chances are, Mark, is there a good chance that he's guessing that, oh, guessing yeah. that mm -hmm. pitch that's going to be there? Definitely. All righty. Did you guys learn a little bit? Yeah. Throw yeah, inside. Great job. Remember, they can get out of the way. Uh -huh. That's it. And remember what to do if you get popped, right? Don't go crying because there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> right? That's the way it works. Thanks a bunch, boys. Really appreciate Thanks, it. When guys. we come back,